Hey guys, Brett here. Welcome back to Gold Rush the Game Let's Play series episode number 10. So we're back at our old Arnold claim. Um, you'll see I've dug out a reasonably level area where I'm hopefully um, going to bring in a dozer once we've um, cleaned out our uh, mats and that sort of stuff. Um, you'll notice that my money's no longer going down. I did get rid of all the workers because um, we're going to be tight with money. So my plan is now to get a dozer and push a ramp in from here down into here and then just level all this area out and then continue to dig back this way. Um, that'll be the plan and then obviously we can come back through and um, dig on this level and just dig back through again. So we're getting there. I don't know how many loads we put through the wash plant. Um, maybe 10 to 15 truck loads I think. Um, but it's pretty much full at the moment. So everything's finished processing, everything's turned off, so we're at 98, 99, 98, 99, 99, 99, and 70 and 49 here for this duplex jig. So we'll open up the back of the truck and we'll take off our grills, miners grills, so we can um, grab our, our mats out. Um, you will notice that that has been filling up again, and I did move the excavator over and completely level this out and put a full truckload into the wash plant, but it doesn't take long for that to start to build up yet again, so... It's probably something that you, you either really need to keep an eye on. I think we're stuck here. Whoops. Where did that go? No idea where that's gone. I think we are stuck. I can't jump or anything. Absolute pain. Let's reset ourselves. Run back over. Hopefully we didn't lose that miner's moss somewhere. But yeah, that's why I've got this little digger set up here so we can just continue to clear it. Like, it's not going to matter too much, but that's pay dirt that you can put back through the plant. So, as I said, you'll see it's got a level area here, which is not going to be able to go any higher. That's as far as high as you can go the whole way through the claim. So, grab that, move it over out of the way. Um, can I see the mat anywhere? I cannot see the mat. Where is it gone? I have no idea. You'll have to see if we can find it. So we'll bring these in, um, dunk it in. We used to be able to dunk it four times, but we can't now. So there we go. They must have updated that so we can only dunk it once. Um, that's the back one. Grab the second from last one. Dunk him in there as well. Put him back and hopefully I can find that other moss because it's going to be a pain if that's completely disappeared. 99% full, so oh no, there it is. Got it. Oh, oh, there it is. Good. So the weird thing is, it's not changing the color of that water, which is weird. It should be going like dark brown, like it used to in the past. So hopefully they're going to rechange that again, because that's a little bit frustrating. Or at least be able to dunk it the four times like we could before, and um, make it so at least changes. I mean, like, the colour changes a little bit, but it's not enough, to be honest, to, you know, notice which bucket is empty and which one isn't. So we'll grab that one. It's our last miner's moss to dunk. So it does change very, very slightly, but it should make it a little bit more noticeable than that, I think. So that's back in. I think we're going to get stuck again, are we? Yeah, what a pain. Can we get out? Oh, smash the bloody keyboard. Reset us ourselves again. Try not to get stuck in there again this time. So it's probably going to be a shorter episode than usual. We're just going to um, see how much gold we get out of the 100% in our tier 3 wash plant set up with our dump truck. It's obviously a lot quicker than using the loader. and it's, Well, in my opinion, it's a lot more fun as well, so... So we'll put that in without falling in. That's all those back in. I'll take these out now. I'll stick these right at the back just so we know. It's going to be obvious that 
they're different because these ones um, you will see it looks like it's actually got dirt in it, not water. So, you know, would shut our tray, knock the bucket over, but luckily the things don't fall out even when you knock the buckets over. So, we'll start up our truck and head up to our, our tent to start um, organising our gold. See if you can get up the hill here, just. Parker over here, shut it down. Drop the back down. So what I'll do now is we're going to have to start um, this water pump. Start that Jenny, which does the gold inside and the water pumps up through into our magnetite separator up there. And this one runs the magnetite separator, so We'll take our gold magnetite and stuff straight into here. It's running, so we'll tip it straight in. Chuck the bucket on the ground. Only 43%. Um, I won't put the other bucket in just in case it does go over 100%. Let's have a look. Uh, wave table's working, so we'll tip this in. So we've got 53.4. Should get a fairly good amount out of this. 60, so nearly 7 ounces out of that, that's great. It was exactly 7 ounces, I should say. Chuck that down. This one should be more, I'm hoping. Well, I'll chuck this bucket back in here. 64%, so... Let's see what we can get out of this one. 60.45 ounces. Tip him in. building wow 10 ounces 14 ounces 15 ounces wow that's good very good all right we'll start working on these buckets now these shouldn't have as much i don't think so 75 ounces we build a lot slower i was run backwards and forwards while waiting for it to finish it's very poor actually I'm surprised that that, wow, that is terrible. 75.8 is what we've got at the moment. Stuck on the fence. 0.8 of an ounce, wow, that is, that is terrible. So I'm not sure if, why you'll be getting more out of the magnetite separator. But, um, yeah, it shouldn't be like that, I don't think. Bucket's empty. I don't want that one. So that's another 0.8 of an ounce. So 77.4, you might as well say. It is pretty poor. Not impressed at all, really. I was thinking we'd get a lot more than what we actually are. Seventy eight one, so that's like point seven. We'd be lucky to get seventy nine ounces out of this. We'd be lucky to hit eighty. Got a couple of those spare buckets, I think they're empty ones. Didn't even hit eighty, that was terrible. That's like not even point seven of an ounce. So they really need to adjust that. That's that's terrible. I mean, it's good that the magnetite separator gives you a lot, but yeah, that's just, yeah, pretty crap. 79.5, so what was, that was like 0.4 of an ounce, I think. So it's 79.5 ounces, which isn't too bad, of course, but um, could be a lot better. So what we'll do is we'll um, jump in our truck. Gonna head into town. Um, which you guys will be able to see a little bit of the new update. Um, sounds have been added in when you're going along like the concreted area at the factory here. The factory sounds have been added. There's been sounds added into the town itself. So small, minor things, but they make a, a really big difference. 
as I said, this episode is going to be very, very short, maybe 15, 20 minutes. With no digging or anything, it's just us doing our, our first clean out with our dump truck. So hopefully you can hear that. It's not as loud as it usually is, I don't think. Makes a little little bit of difference, just the noise in there. I didn't hear any factory noise that time, we probably didn't go close enough to it. But wait for this to load through. Still a bit bouncy, this thing. I don't know if we're going to have enough money to be able to purchase the dozer out of these 79.5 ounces, but um, that's our, ne Ooh, our next goal to get the dozer to level out that area. Obviously, the other idea would be to take either the loader or the little excavator over to another claim, rent another claim, and um, have the mobile wash plant running over there for a little while. All right, so we're here at the blacksmiths, we'll see how much we can smelt. We've only got $800, so we can't go into a minus anymore. Seven and a half ounces, so we can smelt the whole thing with sixteen dollars left. So we're very close. So you can see there, seventy-two point three ounce gold bar. So we did lose a fair bit smelting and stuff. So I'm not sure. I know when you sell the ore, you get less money than when you smelt it. But for the amount you lose at the smelter, is it worth just selling the ore directly instead of actually smelting things down? Look, I'm not exactly sure, but so you can hear those noises. I'm not sure exactly where it's coming from, but here somewhere. Just noises in the city, which is good. Something a little bit different. Now we're heading to the bank. Um, I've got no loans at the moment. Stock is eleven nine zero per ounce, so we've got $86,000 for our gold bar. So not enough to get the dozer, I don't think. Go and have a quick look, but I'm pretty sure it's definitely not going to be enough. I think it's like 97000 for the dozer, so going to have to start getting some more gold, hire some more workers and get them working again. Um, so it looks like over here, obviously we've got the dozer over there, but is that going to be another Another dozer, a better quality dozer than that one. That'll be pretty cool if it is. Still got another wash plant covered here. A few other bits and pieces covered through here. So that's got nothing covered. But anyway, some more stuff covered through there. That could be. No, I was thinking that might be a water pump. We need. We really need a bigger water pump. That'll be ideal, I think. Uh, Ninety-seven, fifty-four. So there we go. We can buy it. Good. Let's buy the dozer. We might do a little bit of dozer work in this episode. So we won't make it too short an episode. Um, we'll purchase that. We'll get it transported to the... Oops. Uh-oh. I think that's going to disconnect everything. Hopefully not. I'll have to wait and see when we get back. Hopefully it doesn't. Because we clicked on the wrong thing. But anyway. We'll head back down to the claim now. And we'll check out our dozer. We'll get in there and we'll start pushing around and see what we can do. See if we can level things out a little bit. I've done a plenty of work as you've seen in um, previous episodes, so I should be okay getting things to where I want them to be, but no guarantees. It is it's not as simple as people think, um, you know, pushing the dirt around with the dozer and that sort of stuff, so Um, and you guys, let me know what you think of the sound. Is the sound not loud enough? Obviously, my voice is okay, but is the in-game sound not loud enough? Could it be turned up a little bit? You know, you guys let me know, um, and I can adjust the sound. There's no point in you guys just watching a game that pretty much has no sound and listen to me talk. You jibber away when you want to actually listen to the machines work and that sort of stuff, so... So back to the old Arnold claim now. We'll 
we're nearly were we're nearly just rolling our truck. Our dozer should be sitting just over here, ready to go. It is, so shut our truck down, we'll jump straight in. So I've got all the right buttons in my head again. Off we go. So usually use the third, the number three camera, which is the drive. No rotatable camera, it's called. They call it. So we'll see, we've still got our truck parked up, ready to go. We're going to start to push down some dirt, try and get down to that level. I don't know if we're going to have enough here. I was hoping I left enough, but. Possibly not. Might not even be wide enough to be honest. So we'll just there, put the blade down as far as we go and push very, very slowly and try not to do what I thought we we're just about to do, and that was slide down into the hole. Still a little bit of a sand issue actually with the dozer at the moment, which is weird. push in and make sure we're, it just wants to slide. Oh, uh, we've lost it. It's gone, going, going, gone. Oops, no, still good. <laughs> wow, still good. So back right up, maybe give us, self a, give us a little bit more room. nice and steady the slower you go the more dirt you're actually able to push so so I'm not sure if we've got enough dirt there to push down or not I don't think we have left enough but we'll go back to the start and see if we can push down a little bit more doesn't seem to want to push down too much. Start pushing as hard as we can from here. See how far we can go. Seems like it's starting to disappear actually, the dirt, so... As far as it's going to let us go, definitely doesn't seem like it's pushing downhill enough for my liking. Up here it should be pushing down a lot further. Definitely just doesn't feel like it's doing quite the job that I want it to do. Definitely don't think we're going to get down to that level that I was hoping to get down to. So I thought it would still try and help us move down a little bit, but it's it's really not pushing as far down as I thought it would. It seems like it's just sort of leveling out and actually pushing down, so... Just a little bit without falling down, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're going. Just 
keep into it and see what we can do. If we can save it from here. Don't think so. so let's grab the dozer. We'll reset. So it's gonna it's gonna be something I do off camera. I think trying to level all this out because it's gonna it's gonna take a lot of work to get it down to where I want it to go. Um, I th was hoping the dozer would push it down a bit more dramatically than what it actually is. It doesn't seem to be pushing down as hard as it was before this update. So I'm not sure if they've made. Um, any changes with the dozer since the last update, but doesn't even seem to be wanting to push the stuff we just ran over. It's not even really pushing that. Which is weird, it should have been pushing that down the hill, really. See if we can help it turn around and maybe push it into the wall or something. So even that, it's not, it's not picking up that dirt. Like it. There we go. It's going now very slowly, but it's not. I don't know if they've updated the dozer, but it feels like it's a lot different to what it used to be. Nowhere near as good at moving dirt. So put the blade right on the ground and we'll just go ever so slowly forward. I've got it in full reverse and it's still going further forward so just doesn't seem like that that's barely even picking up that dirt that's just very frustrating not good enough I don't think I think they really need to if they've changed anything with the dozer to actually have another look at it because that's it's pretty terrible to be honest Try and climb back out of this hole. At least it's not getting stuck on those little knobs like it used to. Still sort of powering over it just. I really hope the other dozer that they've got covered there is a lot stronger than this one because this one's terrible. So whatever they did in the update with the dozers, if they did anything, please change it back. Like this, yeah, this should be pushing down a lot steeper than this. It's just, it's like it starts to push and then just stops. I'm even like holding the F key down to make sure the blade stays right on the ground, but it's just. doesn't seem to want to work like it used to. So really, in my opinion, it should be a lot steeper than that, than what it's actually pushing down. Um, and even if they could give us the option, it would be nice to leave it like you got the gears on the right hand side there like 0 0.5 can we have an option to have a manual gearbox so we just put it in a low gear so that way it doesn't matter how much we push the throttle forward we're only pushing and we're only going at a certain speed to push the minimum amount of dirt so the dozer's not trying to take off but yeah that's a little bit frustrating it's not working how it has in the past, unfortunately. Still not leaving things as smooth as I'd like either, so. Try 
I line up a bit here and put the blade as hard down as we can and see what we can push through here. I don't know if we're going to get any deeper. Looks like it's really struggling to push now. It looks like it's pushed down a little bit more, but it's still... I don't think it's still enough. It's starting to push down a little bit more now, so... I mean, it may be a fair bit more work, and we might be able to get it, but... Still trying to push it, doesn't want to push that pile, which it should be. It's not that big a pile of dirt, to be honest. So once again, we'll just go nice and steady and... Like the blades, as low as we can go, so I, in my opinion, it should be taking a lot more of the dirt off and putting us down at a steeper angle to allow us to actually you know make a decent ramp it doesn't seem like it's really working the way it should be ideally I don't think push those bits forward but It's about as steep as we're going to get it, I think. I think I've probably taken it a little bit too much of the ramp to what I wanted to before, so... Let's come back and try and tidy up the face a little bit. Still got some dramas with sound, unfortunately. Try and push this face out a little bit more. I think we're going to get stuck again. It's like another reset. You can see how it's sort of not pushing down there at all. And it's pushed down a lot there. It's just too inconsistent, I think. They need to have another good look at it. Yeah, so I think we might um, end the episode here, guys. We might do a little bit of work with the dozer off camera and um, just see what I can do because it's not it's sort of not going the way I'd hoped it would, the way I had it planned. It's building a ramp, which is good, but it's just not not steep enough. So if you enjoyed the episode, guys, as always smash that like button and leave a comment and let me know if you've noticed any changes with the dozer because I feel like it's not as good as it used to be like it should really be pushing that pile as well there's not a massive amount there come back a little bit but yeah so leave it in the comment section let me know if you've got the game you've got the dozer do you think it's changed a little bit for the better or for worse like personally I think it's it's definitely not better it's a bit frustrating at the moment but um yeah if you enjoyed the episode as always smash that like button and um as I said in the last episode leave a comment and let me know what you think we should do next should we move to another claim um with our mobile wash plant and just check out another claim or should we stay here and continue just to load with our truck and big excavator here and just continue to dig out as much of this place as we can before we move on to the next um, the next claim you know you guys let me know what you think is the best thing to do but um, it's been Brito's Gaming thanks for watching see you again soon